It's been quite a while on the pirate radio station Rock to Rock, and you've even hosted Radio and Jam with Lisa Ianson. Are you still involved in radio? Not anymore, no, because I'm um, at university at the moment, and basically I just stick to my DJing. I'll take care of the radio since I finish, a couple of months' time, and that's it. What are you studying at uni? A heavy course, philosophy communications. Not all DJs are stupid. You've not jumped on every bandwagon going, you've stuck to what you're known for, yeah. playing like good grooves. Yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to, uh, rather than do garage and do soul and hip hop and everything like that, I'd rather stick to what I do, which is RB and hip hop, and it's kind of cool. I just like, I love what I do. I love what I do and I love my music. Have you got a bit of a fetish for vinyl? I'm not talking about wearing it, I'm on about your collection. Because you've got over 30,000 records? The more the merrier. Goodbye to CDs. Vinyl, vinyl's coming back, and if you're a DJ, you've got to use vinyl. Forget the CDs, it's not happening. You DJed after parties with Mary J. Bly, Tony Tony Tone, and at the Mobo Wars with Puff Daddy and Big Daddy Kane. You must have had some pretty wild parties. Yeah, I mean, the Mobile Wars last year was uh, something else. I mean, it's 2,000 people. It was amazing. The whole Puffy crew were down there, lots of Americans. Good DJ with Jermaine Dupree. It was really, really good fun. Uh, lifetime experience, really. How do you find DJing to that many people, such a big crowd? Hard. <laughs> it was hard. I mean, it's, it's not something you go into lightly. Um, you really got to be thinking all the time. Um, and you get, at the end, of it, actually physically exhausted, physically, mentally exhausted. But it's good fun. At the end of it, you feel like you've achieved something. Have you got some groupies then? Because you've been a resident here for quite a while now. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> this, is, this is all about work. This is business. I mean, myself, Fitzroy, the Buzzboy, the DJs alongside me in the soul room. And I'm sure Spoon is the same thing. We, we look at it as a business. We take it you know, pretty seriously. We're not one of these ones who are out for fame. We want to just get the job done properly.